previously on Costa Rica Story. We had an offer. Really? Do tell. I countered the offer. I renegotiate because you lowball me. There's been some negotiations going back and forth. Price is too high. Give me my money! I gave them an offer. Well, I'll make them an offer you can't refuse. I refuse. Respectfully. You work with me, I'll work with you. So it's Saturday morning, February 20th, 2021. And it's like 13 degrees, 14 degrees. It's in the teens out here. So uh, I, I signed the offer, my counter offer we agreed on. Now we, again, we're waiting for the inspection. It's like deja vu all over again. We're cleared for takeoff. Ready for takeoff. February 20th, Saturday morning, and I run into town. Not saying what for, could be for donuts, might not be for donuts, I don't know. Yeah, I gave away all my winter stuff. And one of the things I gave away was my ice scraper from our windshield. And my windshield's pretty uh, frosty this morning. Frozen, cold frozen? But I did. Back in the, back in the old days, they used to they used to use this stuff called film and cameras, and the film would come in these canisters. And these canisters, these canisters come in handy for a lot of things. But I, I've, I've got this ice on here, and I found that this, this works pretty good for, for scraping the ice off the windshield. Well, nothing. When <laughs> I wouldn't say it works good, but it, if you don't have an ice scraper gets the job done. Very clever. But man, my my hands do not like the cold anymore. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. <laughs> and the rest of my body either. Welcome once again to Costa Rica Story. This is your host, Loco Mono. <laughs> what a stupid phony made up name. And before I get started today, I'm gonna to do that thing that they, all the YouTubers do, all the young cool kids do. Be sure to smash our like button and subscribe to our channel. Can you please subscribe to my channel? <sighs> subscribe, if you will. When you subscribe to a YouTube channel, you don't get sent spam. So don't think that that's what happens. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you just get, it basically puts my channel on your favorites list there. But first, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. By default, YouTube does not send you emails to uh, notify you. You can change it in your settings, but by default, you are not going to get spammed by me or YouTube or anybody else. If, this if is not spam. If you like my videos or you subscribe. So it's important. I'm a young and growing channel. So yeah, I think I'm up to 27 now. I got two. The two new, two new people this week, thank you for subscribing. You like me, you really like me. So today's theme is my favorite things. These are a few of my favorite things. And my favorite things, Costa Rica, if I'm gonna start, I'm gonna have to start with Sarah Elena. Sarah actually has a business that helps people move to Costa Rica. And you can set up a 30 minute call with her for free. And she's got the Facebook group, Move to Costa Rica. You can find out a lot there. And she does lives. She does lives like usually once a week and broadcast both from YouTube and Facebook. And you can ask her questions on there and they can get to them. She usually has an expert. This past week she had a, a, a Spanish teacher, Spanish language teacher that specializes in Antico Spanish. So uh, I signed up for that for a month just to see how that would go because I my, my Spanish no es bueno No es bueno. So it'll be interesting to uh, take that course, but Sarah can hook you up with a lawyer a car rental place um, She'll help you find a, uh, a place to live She can answer any questions you might have about banking or about the communities and what is, she's lived in a lot of different places since she's been been here. She has a, Sarah has a very interesting story herself. If you uh, ever get a chance, just uh, check out some of her, her YouTube uh, videos on different things. And Sarah has a lot of YouTube videos on a lot of different subjects, especially, 
especially if you're moving to the Pacific, South Pacific area. She has a lot of really good videos about the Minical and Uvita and all that area because she has a lot of experience living there and with the people there and that's very helpful. But Sarah has a Facebook group called Moving to Costa Rica. She started it last year in 2020 amid the pandemic. I thought I was going to be in the Sarah Elena class of 2020, but I didn't make it in 2020. Look at hell back. <laughs> Hopefully in 21, 2021, I'll be in Costa Rica. You can do it! I have friends that I met on Sarah's uh, moving to Costa Rica message board, and we were kind of joking with each other about who was going to get there first. And they're there. There's quite a, quite a few that are already there. And uh, I'm still here. As a matter of fact, one of my friends from the message board posted a video last week. She went on a boat tour and she saw not one, not two, but three different species of monkeys on the same boat tour. Monkeys. I love monkeys. So that's pretty cool. So hello to all my friends from the Moving to Costa Rica message board. I know some of you are still in the same situation that I'm in and we're all struggling and giving each other support. So that's cool. It's, it's a good thing to have. And for you lucky ones that are already there in Costa Rica, having fun and living the Puerto Vida lifestyle, thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. We'll be there soon. We will be there. And for you people that are already there in Costa Rica, make sure you save us a seat at, at Fuegos. Save us a seat. Because we're here. We're going to be there. We'll be there eventually. It's just going to take a while. What else do we need to talk about? And if we're going to talk about favorite things, we have to talk about this guy. And if you have watched any Costa Rica videos, I'm sure you've seen this guy. He's the guy with a giant cup with a crack in it. He's the guy with the big guns. He's got the big guns and he's got the nice shiny teeth that he had done in Costa Rica. None other than Michael Allen from TravelCostaRicaNow.com, which is also a travel agency I hear. But Michael Allen's videos go back I think 150 years, <laughs> it seems that way. I think, I think he has almost 15 years of Costa Rica videos. Maybe it's 12, I don't know. It's a long time. It's a long time to, to be doing this, but he's really consistent. He keeps pumping out the videos. He's got a ton of them there. And any topic you can think of, he's touched on it. So he's pretty straightforward and honest with everything he, he has to say. So, uh, you know, you're not gonna get any run around with him. He's gonna tell it like it is, or at least how he, how he perceives it to be. I mean, everybody's got their own perspective, but definitely have to check him out. I'll put a link down below in case, for some odd reason, if you haven't ever seen one of his videos, you need to, you need to check his library out. All right, let's see what else, what else? Some what else? random things that I, I've run across that I, I just really am impressed by. There's a, there's a guy that sells hot sauce. He's a Pepe Lopez, Pepe, Spicy Life, Lopez. He does a lot to help the community. He, he does uh, beach cleanups and he works with the kids and he just helps the community a lot. But he does these little commercials that, that he sets up. He did one recently with his bottle of uh, hot sauce and he was holding it out in front of him and there was a, a crocodile swimming by. He's got his, his hot sauce in a lot of different places, famous places and uh, you know, he's a great marketer. There's also a guy named Kelvin, AKA the Tico facilitator. And I think he does some property management, but he also is active in the community and, you know, he fights for, for community rights and things like that. And I think that's pretty cool. And then there's the vegan pirates. They're working on a documentary. I think, it, I think the documentary is done. It's called entangled in Costa Rica, you know, fishing nets and whales and sea life and pollution and there's a lot of great wildlife rehab places and i'm going to link those below and i'm also working on a resource page that i'm going to i'm constantly updating it's an ongoing project just trying to gather as many resources as i can about costa rica things that i've used in my research because that's what all that's all i've had to do here you know is research because i'm killing time waiting to leave so um, I've had a lot of time to, to do some research.
Yeah. <laughs>